Pardon me? Just the general thoughts oh, yeah. uh, on the game, and then we'll go to some questions after that. I just thought it was, I mean, it was a um, hard-fought game. I mean, I know that's kind of the obvious coaching cliche type of answer, but, you know, we came up. I thought we were really fo uh, f focused early um, uh, in terms of the game plan defensively. Did a really good job collectively coming out and setting the tone. Um, we had a level of physicality. We won a bunch of 50-50 balls. Um, it was great to see uh, multiple guys. We, there was one little stretch. We had four assists really quick and extended it to, to 17 going into half. They came out uh, aggressively uh, like a very well-coached team is going to uh, with guys that have a lot of heart, which Eastern does. Um, and uh, I, I, I was saying it earlier, and I, I, was, I, I really enjoyed being out. I, I didn't like that it went from 17 to 6. Um, but I look out on the court. I saw Shamar Wright, Lamar Wright, Rayshon Taylor, Polo Minor, Terrence. I saw a bunch of guys that, that it, it reminded me of, of the last few years on the, on the court with these guys. And that's where you just trust them. You know, we didn't do anything uh, other than guys uh, really just made plays um, through their experience and their togetherness. And I was really proud of them for that more than anything. It's um, it's it's a blessing for uh, both of us to come from the same place and be able to play at a high level. You know, unfortunately, somebody had to win. You know, but I'm just thankful that they was out there and be able to put on a show and showcase who they was before they lost. So, I mean, it, it was it's a blessing for all of us to be out there and be able to play Division One basketball all at one time at a high level like this. So. I think it was not to be like cocky or anything. It wasn't like a motivational thing. I feel like we beat ourselves. I feel like all our losses is we beating ourselves. So I feel like we just came back to the drawing board and realized, okay, we can't keep doing this. All right, we got to fix this. And we came out today and we fixed it. I mean, I got to be better. We didn't play great as a team, but I mean, I got, like I got Rayshon Taylor and Shamar Wright out there to make, if I play terrible, they can win a game without me. So I just want to shout out my team for this dub, man. We're going to be better tomorrow. We got three more. Trey Gone, do you have any answers for that question? Uh, yeah, like you said, uh, I feel like we had beat ourselves. Uh, wanted to fix our transition defense because the main thing was we could stop them in the half court. So we just had to keep them in the half court, uh, get stops. And like you said, we got other players to depend on. But he had 14 rebounds. so. Uh, that's still a big impact on the game. Um, what was the question again? Why did you just play uh, Eastern? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it. I was like, uh, playing know. Eastern a week ago. Uh, like Polo <laughs> said, it was. Uh, we felt like we beat ourselves that day. Eastern's a good team, but uh, you know, if we played to our best of our capabilities, we're the best team in the league. So just coming out with the right mindset, we know it's a win or go home. So it's a, it's a different type of a ball game. When it comes to playoff time, and we know we're the team that uh, can make that run. Trey, coach, you mentioned about you know when you guys came in, you just kind of knew that you guys were ready. Uh, what went into that? Just kind of like your guys just being ready for that first game. Oh uh, yeah, like you said, uh, I struggled um, probably the last couple weeks of the season, so I wanted to come out and make an imprint on the game right away, and I feel like I did that. Obviously, with the help of the whole team, though, and, and always keeping me confident. And I, I thank them for that, and I'm going to continue to do it. And we got another one tomorrow, so it's right back to it. Coach, it's huge. I mean, it's just huge just to be able to, to you know, finish the season um, in, in a way that – um, you know, unfortunately, there's there's probably some people out there that are kind of waiting for the season to be over, um, and uh, it's mind-boggling as a coach and some you know and an older person. But you know, these guys just turned it up a notch, and and that's what's exciting. You could see the other day in practice. Uh, I had these two in my office the other day as well, and they were just really talking about um, you know what they have to do, and, and, and really just talks enough. You know, no more talk. Um, you know, and, and I hear it as a coach as well. And I appreciate the experience we have because 
I understand there's a time to, to, to like I just walked in and he's like, hey, let's make this qu quick in the locker room. And he's right. And it's not defiant. It's not anything other than I have guys that know each other. I have guys that understand, um, you know, what we need. And I'm very lucky to, to be able to uh, trust them. And it was, you know, when they made that run to six, like I said, you look out there and you see a bunch of guys that I just felt someone was going to be able to make a play. And, and, and we did. L.A. hit a big three. And uh, I can't something, – something else extended it to, to 11 at that point. But it was um, – it's a joy to coach these guys. There's no doubt about it. Um, I told them that last night. Um, and their their families care about them. Uh, they come from great stock, and I, it's just you know we got to do it again tomorrow. Anybody else questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you.